Hey guys, welcome to Meals with Maria. Today is a very special day. I am doing a cookbook collaboration with a bunch of amazing YouTubers. Thank you so much to Tamara at Southern Wife Everyday Life. She's the person that put this all together. The playlist for the cookbook collab will be down below. The whole premise of this is that cookbooks are going out of style, but no, they're not. Let's not let them. We wanted to bring back cookbooks and I never thought they left, to be honest. I have, I don't know, 50 plus cookbooks. I ask for them for Christmas every year. I love them. And this video, I wanted to bring you guys, tell you a little bit about my favorite budget cookbook called Good and Cheap. And I wanted to make a lot more recipes from this, but I just haven't been feeling great the last couple days. So I was able to do one full meal so I'll show you guys some recipes from this, but I did want to kind of gush about the book a little bit before I get into it so I can show you guys how awesome it is and why. Now, true to my channel, this is a $4 a day, eat on $4 a day book. And how awesome is it? So why do I love it? So some of the recipes in this book are extremely basic, but they give you so many ideas to riff on and that's why I love it so much. So not, this is not sponsored in any way. I just want to share it with you guys. So like oatmeal, you guys know I love oatmeal as a budget meal. It gives you a bunch of different options for oatmeal, including cooking your oatmeal with apple juice. What a great idea. You can actually just put apple juice as your liquid when you're cooking your oatmeal and now you have apple flavored oatmeal. Genius, right? so inexpensive and maybe you have something already on hand. I love it. I absolutely love that. Now, the second thing I love about this book is it actually tells you how much per serving that each of the meals costs and then how much in total all of the ingredients and the recipe should cost, which obviously is a huge win. So they have things like that. They have a whole section on hot dogs and hot dog toppings, which is something I'm going to be doing today for you guys. They have multiple ways to make things and then additions. So they have my dad's baked beans and then they have variations and then toppings so they have different things you can add to these things but then they have the basic recipe so i just love this cookbook so so much because it just gives you again a bunch of great ideas things you can put on toast inexpensive ideas to zazz something up that you wouldn't normally do i just think it's such a great budget option and the most amazing thing about this is every time you purchase one of these the author or the cookbook company i'm not sure yeah you buy we give they give one of these to a person in need so not only are you doing yourself a favor by purchasing one of these and having some basic skills for cooking on a budget but you're also giving a cookbook to someone in need which i i absolutely love all right guys so again i want to thank tamara at southern wife everyday life go follow her make sure to check out the playlist below and here is the most amazing video i'm going to show you some things from this cookbook also be linked down below if you want to grab yourself a copy all right so for tonight's dinner i am going to make a potato salad so i'm taking the recipe says about two pounds of potatoes i'm guessing this is about two pounds and you can see that i cut off a bunch of pieces of these i had some eyes growing off of these i think it's called eyes when they start kind of growing as if they want to grow on the ground you can just cut those off and your potatoes are fine we're not wasting food around here so this is what i had left i wasn't going to go out and buy new stuff just because my potatoes were growing some eyes so cut it off and then peeled them right up and put them in some water. We're bringing this to a boil and cooking for 25 minutes. In the meantime, I'm gonna make the sauce for my potato salad. So I need two tablespoons of olive oil, two tablespoons of lemon juice. So I'm just squeezing about a half a lemon in here. And now my recommendation would be to actually add about a teaspoon or two teaspoons of sugar at this point, and then two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. I just found without a little bit of sugar that the lemon in this recipe was a little bit strong. So that's my recommendation just to cool it down a little bit and add a little bit of sweet and tanginess to your vinaigrette because basically this is like a Dijon uh, vinaigrette that's going on your potato salad. And then you also want to slice up, it says three to four scallions and I'm just kind of using the rest of some scallions that I had. Always trying to be resourceful, no reason to spend extra on this. I also wanted to mention that instead of lemon, you could use lime juice or some plain white vinegar. That is an option as well. Really anything that's going to give you that citrusy, vinegary flavor in your dressing. 
Now the next thing I'm gonna work on is a Mexican street corn. So the recipe calls for corn on the cob and I just had frozen corn. So again, being resourceful, using what I have. And then I'm adding four tablespoons of mayonnaise to this. So this is a recipe in the cookbook just for Mexican street corn on its own. And then in the hot dog section, it actually recommends that you maybe serve this over your hot dogs. And I thought that sounds so good. So I added about a half a cup of feta cheese, or you could use some cojita, I think it's called, or really any type of um, Mexican cheese. And then I added a half of a lime squeezed in there. This was so delicious. Like I would love to eat this on a fresh corn on the cob. I know in the summer, it's so inexpensive to buy corn on the cob. And even just frozen corn like this, I think it was like 99 cents. So you mix all of this up and then it's great because I offered this to my family as an addition to their hot dogs but I also offered it as a side so if you don't want to put it over your hot dog you can just eat it as a side two choices here and then I added a little bit of chili powder over the top of that and once my potatoes were done boiling I just chopped them up and then added them to my Dijon vinaigrette and you can stop here if you like and just add your scallions Personally, I really like a creamy potato salad, so I added in um, about a quarter cup, half a cup of mayonnaise, however much you like, uh -oh. and a couple uh -oh. teaspoons Bitcoin of salt. Um, potato salad today. without salt uh, is going to be very, very bland. You really need doubles. salt to add a lot of flavor to the potatoes. So you just want to mix that really, really well. And then if you want, add in that mayo and then top with your scallions. And this potato salad was really, really good. It also says you could add pickles to it or some fresh dill, which I did end up doing at the end. And it turned out really great. So overall, this meal was awesome. I'm going to show you guys in a few kind of what everything looked like. I loved having the corn over the hot dog. But like I said, it was great to have it as an option as a side or as a topping. And there's some other great toppings for hot dogs and there's some really cool ideas. So I just love that we're taking something that is just a completely normal food and kind of adding something a little extra to it. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching today. Again, please check out the playlist below with all the other cookbook ideas and videos. Everyone is gonna do an awesome job, I'm sure. And I'm just so proud of everybody. So thank you for watching. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new here, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything. I make videos like this. I also do extreme grocery budget challenges and grocery hauls, as well as all sorts of budget meal ideas and relaxing cook with me's. It's all about the food here, guys. And we just love it. So this is what everything looks like in the end. I serve this at my dinner table, as well as our street corn. And here is our final product. So again, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all soon. Bye. Now every day